welcome back to the Highland Outdoors YouTube channel guys. My name's Jake. Today we are going to be going over some of the thermal spotters of 2024 for the infrared lineup. And to begin with, we're going to take a look at the Finder 50. So, to begin with opening the, uh, the sleeve box which the unit comes in, which is quite nice, so obviously a bit of product placement on the front. So we've got the Finder 50 displayed on the front so you know exactly what's inside. So setting that to one side, hopefully we don't get blown away by the wind. <laughs> we are out in the elements on this one guys, you know, we want to keep it authentic in the field rather than in the office. So inside the black box, we've got a nice sort of padded case which the finder comes in. Two zip pockets on the unit, so in the front pocket we have the HDMI cable, the USB-C uh, cable which we use to uh, attach to the charging dock and we've also got two, uh, we've got, where are we? we've got one of the uh, IBP batteries for the unit then in the in main, uh, main compartment we've got the second battery for the unit as well so two batteries there we've got the charging dock and then we have the Finder 50 it's in all its glory. Nice big 50mm lens on the front. Really clean unit, very ergonomic. It sits really nice in the hand, I will admit, just from holding it here. Uh, I would say very ergonomic as well. And obviously we've got the neck strap lanyard attached to it also. Uh, diving into the specs on the unit. So it comes with a 640 by 512 sensor. Uh, with a sub 20 millikelvin uh, rating on this so you get a lot of layers of depth um, when looking at your heat source so your ideal quarry whether it be deer, fox, boar, anything of the like so you're able to pick out the finer features on the unit such as the eyes, the nose, the hair, what way um, if it's been rubbing itself on uh, anything say a deer's done a scrape on a tree you're able to pick all that information out. So it is, so yeah, 50 mil uh, objective lens on the front. And then obviously we've got the two batteries, uh, external batteries, which plug nice and simple into the unit. So they come with a little pull tab. If my nails will allow, there we go. So pull tab pops out like that. Uh, you line it up with the marking on the side of the unit, twist it in and then pop the cap down just like so and now you're good to go you're able to turn the unit on and you're ready for the evening stalking or foxing session. 